Hi Rangers fans, I'm TR Blue 1872 and welcome to another episode of Rangers History. Rangers is a club with proud history and tradition. One of the most notable records Rangers currently hold as of 2017 is a Scottish and world record 7 domestic trebles, this being the combination of winning the Scottish League, Scottish Cup and League Cup all in one season. In this episode of Rangers History, I'm going to touch on all 7 trebles Rangers have won. Rangers first treble win came in the 1948-49 season under legendary Rangers manager Bill Struth. Rangers won the league by finishing one point ahead of Dundee, winning 20 out of 30 matches and drawing a further six. The top goal scorer for Rangers in the league and all competitions was Willie Thornton. He scored 23 goals in the league and an impressive 34 goals in all competitions. Rangers won both Old Firm League derby games that season. In the League Cup, Rangers had less than an impressive start. The campaign began in the group stages where we drew 1-1 with Clyde and a 0-0 draw with Hibernian before Rangers suffered a 3-1 on firm defeat. This, however, was the turning point for Rangers as they went on to beat these three teams in the last three group stage games to ensure the Jays qualified for the quarterfinals. Rangers beat St Mirren 1-0 in the quarterfinal and beat Dundee 4-1 in the semi. On March 12, 1949, Rangers beat Rafe Rovers 2-0 in the final thanks to goals from Torrance Gillick and Willie Patton. Rangers completed their first treble by winning the Scottish Cup, eliminating Elgin, Motherwell, Partick Thistle and East Fife before beating Clyde 4-1 in the final on the 23rd of April 1949 in front of over 100,000 fans. Rangers' goals came thanks to two penalties from George Young and goals from Billy Williamson and Jimmy Duncanson. Rangers won their next treble under manager Scott Simon in the 1963-64 season. Rangers finished the league campaign six points ahead of Kilmarnock. Rangers' top goalscorer that season was Jim Forrest with 39 goals in all competitions. Rangers won both Old Firm derbies that season with a 2-1 win at home on September 7, 1963 and a 1-0 win away on New Year's Day 1964. Rangers' League Cup campaign started with a 3-0 group stage win against Celtic. Rangers then beat Quinn of the South and Kilmarnock before beating Celtic 3-0 again and beating Quinn of the South again, then drawing with Kilmarnock. Rangers then beat East Fife and Berwick Rangers before beating Morton 5-0 in the final in front of a crowd of 91,000 on October 26, 1963. Rangers completed their second treble by winning the Scottish Cup, knocking out Stenhouse Muir, Duns, Partick Thistle and Dunfermline before beating Dundee 3-1 on April 25, 1964. Two goals from Jimmy Miller and a goal from Ralph Brand secured the trophy and secured Rangers' second ever domestic treble. From an impossible angle, Brand scores goal three. Rangers' treble of trebles came in the 1975-76 season under Jock Wallace. Rangers finished six points ahead of old firm rival Celtic, winning 23 out of 36 games and drawing a further eight. Rangers won two and drew two old firm games that season the wins being a 2-1 home victory on the first day of the season and a 1-0 home victory on New Year's Day. Rangers drew away 1-1 with Celtic on November 1st and 0-0 on April 26, 1976. Rangers' top goal scorer that season was Derek Johnson. Rangers' League Cup campaign saw them start in the group stage. Rangers beat Airdrieonians and Clyde before drawing against Motherwell. Rangers beat Clyde again before drawing with Motherwell and beating Airdrieonians. After qualifying from the group stage, Rangers played Queen of the South in the quarter-final. The first leg was a 1-0 victory and the second leg was a 2-2 draw, meaning Rangers progressed to the semi-final. Rangers beat Montrose 5-1 in the semi-final and on October 25, 1975, Rangers beat Celtic 1-0 to secure the League Cup, the goal coming from Alex MacDonald. Rangers Scottish Cup campaign that season saw Rangers overcome East 5, Aberdeen and Queen of the South. Rangers then beat Motherwell 3-2 in the semi-final before beating Hearts 3-1 at Hampden Park on the 1st of May 1976. Derek Johnson scored two goals and Alex McDonald scored one. These goals secured what would be the third treble in Rangers history. Rangers then won their fourth domestic treble two seasons later in the 77-78 campaign. Jock Wallace was still in charge and he led Rangers to 55 points that season, two points higher than second place Aberdeen. Rangers' top goalscorer was again Derek Johnston and Rangers beat Celtic twice, drew once and lost once in the league campaign. The wins were a 3-2 victory at Ibrox on the 10th of September 1977 and a 3-1 victory at Ibrox on the 7th of January 1978. Rangers' League Cup campaign started with a two-legged victory against St Johnston, the scores being 3-1 and 3-0. Rangers then faced Aberdeen where Rangers won the first leg 6-1. Aberdeen won the second leg 3-1 but Rangers had a triumph 7-4 on aggregate. Rangers then faced Dunfermline in the quarter-finals. 3-1 wins in both legs ensured Rangers were through to the semi-final where they beat 4 far 5-2. On the 18th of March 1978, Rangers overcame old firm rival Celtic at Hampden Park in extra time. 
Goals from Davy Cooper and Gordon Smith secured the League Cup trophy for Rangers. Rangers Scottish Cup campaign saw the Jays overcome Berwick Rangers, Stirling Albion and then Kilmarnock for one in the quarter final. Rangers then overcame Dundee United 2-0 in the semi-final before beating Aberdeen 2-1 on the 6th of May 1978 at Hampden Park. Alex McDonald and Derek Johnson scored the goals for Rangers which ensured Rangers won their fourth domestic treble. Rangers' fifth domestic treble came 14 years later in the 1992-93 season under manager Walter Smith. Rangers finished the league campaign nine points ahead of second place Aberdeen. Rangers won 33 out of 44 games, drawing a further seven. In the old firm, Rangers won two, drew one and lost one league derby that season. The wins being a 1-0 win away on the 7th of November 1992 and a 1-0 win at home on January 2nd 1993. Rangers top goal scorer that season was Ali McCoy with 34 league goals and 49 goals in all competitions. Rangers Scottish League Cup campaign of 92-93 started in August as Rangers beat Dumbarton and Stranraer both 5-0 before beating Dundee United 3-2 in the quarter final. Rangers then beat St Johnston 3-1 in the semi-final before facing Aberdeen in the final on October 25th 1992 at Hampden Park. Rangers beat Aberdeen 2-1 in the final thanks to goals from Stuart McCall and a 114th minute own goal from Aberdeen player Gary Smith. The Rangers Scottish Cup campaign of 92-93 started in January as Rangers knocked out Motherwell and Ayr before beating Ebro 3-0 in the quarter final. On the 3rd of April 1993, Rangers beat Hearts 2-1 to progress to the final where again they faced Aberdeen in front of 50,000 spectators. Rangers beat Aberdeen 2-1 with goals from Neil Murray and Mark Haitley. The second for Rangers and sheer delirium among these Rangers players. His strength and his pace and his accuracy earned that second goal. Sheer joy. Rangers 6 treble came under manager Dick Avocat in the 1998-99 season. Avocat led the side to 77 points in the league, 6 points ahead of second place Oldham rival Celtic. Rangers' top goalscorer that season was Rod Wallace, with 19 league goals and 27 goals overall. Rangers didn't fare too well in league all firm games that season, winning one, drawing one and losing two. However, the all firm win was very significant as it was the win that secured Rangers the title. Rangers beat Celtic 3-0 at Parkhead on the 2nd of May 1999. It's the full-time whistle. Rangers are champions of Scotland. They've reclaimed the title from Celtic. And just to rub it in, their crowning moment comes on the ground of their fierce rival. Rangers League Cup campaign that season saw the Jays overcome Alloa and Ayr before beating Adrianians 5-0 in the semi-final. Rangers then played St Johnson in the final. Rangers won the game 2-1 thanks to goals from Stefan Gouvage and George Alberts. The first trophy of the season went to Ibrox. But the Saints didn't leave empty-handed. Their scorer, Nick Dasovich, was man of the match. Rona Dougal, Sky News, Glasgow. Rangers Scottish Cup campaign that season started in January 1999 and saw Rangers overcome Stenhouse Muir, Hamilton and Falkirk before beating St Johnson 4-0 in the semi-final. Rangers then played Celtic in the final on May 29, 1999 in front of 52,000 spectators. Rangers won the game 1-0 thanks to a goal from Rod Wallace which secured Rangers 6 trebles. Rangers take delivery of the Tennant Scottish Cup and that makes it a clean sweep of Scottish football's big prizes. Rangers' seventh and most recent treble came in the 2002-2003 season under manager Alex McLeish. Rangers finished the season with 97 points. This was the same amount of points as Old Firm rival Celtic. Rangers managed to win the league on the last day of the season by a goal difference of just one after Rangers beat them firm in 6-1 and Celtic only managed a 4-0 victory against Kilmarnock. Rangers' top goal scorer that season was Ronald De Boer with 20 goals in all competitions. Rangers only managed to win one Old Firm game that season, drawing another and losing two, the win being a 3-2 home win on the 7th of December 2002. Rangers' League Cup campaign of 2002-2003 started with wins against Hibs and Dunfermline. Rangers then played Hearts in the semi-final where Rangers came out 1-0 victors. On March 16, 2003, Rangers played Old Firm rival Celtic in the final and came up 2-1 winners, thanks to goals from Claudio Canizia and Peter Levenkrantz. Rangers 2, Celtic 0, Peter Levenkrantz, ninth goal of the season, and boy does he love to score against Celtic. The Rangers Scottish Cup campaign of that season saw Rangers overcome Air Broken Air before facing them in the court final. Rangers drew the first game away 1-1 and had to play a replay which Rangers won 3-0 at home. 
Rangers then beat Motherwell 4 3 before facing Dundee in the final on the 31st of May 2003. Rangers won the final 1 0 thanks to a goal from Lorenzo Amoroso to secure the Jazz 7th treble, which today still stands as a world record. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Rangers History. If you did, make sure to like the video, share it on social media, and if you want to see more Rangers content, hit subscribe. If you haven't already seen my previous Rangers History video about the 1972 Cup Winners' Cup campaign, a link for that is in the description. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My username is trblue1872. Again, links for those in the description. Which one of these trebles was your favourite, and which Rangers History video would you guys like to see next? Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, we are the people.